Have you ever debated Jesse Jackson? No, I haven't. Is that because, would you like to, or would he not want to do that? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, I've You'd seen be willing to, I assume. Oh, I, it, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Uh, you think that's too much showbiz? It is. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a, there are people who go out and do this, and I, I'm doing less and less of it. And I tell them the story of an, of an African uh, boxing champion who fought an Irishman in St. Patrick's Day, Day in Dublin. And he lost his title on what the sports writers called a questionable decision. <laughs> 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 yes. And so you have to know what forum you're talking about. Right. I, was, I, was, I saw Shelby Steele on with him, and I said, you know, if Jesse Jackson and Shelby Steele each had to present a two-hour lecture to an audience with an average IQ of 120, Shelby would wipe him out. But if they had five seconds each on Donahue, it would be Jesse Jackson all the way. Right. So everything depends upon the forum. Uh, is Jesse Jackson good for African Americans or no, not? He's, he's not. good for himself. Good for himself. And that's true of most ethnic leaders in most groups in most countries in most periods of history. That what will make, what will serve his interest is to keep people paranoid, dependent upon him, dependent upon government. What will serve their interest is typically just the opposite. That's pretty interesting. So you're saying that the, the leaders, whatever group, yeah, whatever yeah. leader, wants the people to be poor and dependent on them as opposed to dependent on themselves. Oh, absolutely. And I, I, you see this in the greatest cynicism in the academic world, where in many places, uh, black uh, organizations on campus have a say on who gets admitted. And they have turned down blacks with excellent credentials, both as students and as faculty members, uh, for that very reason.